thing. We'll catch some of this. Okay. <laughs> the majority of the boats that are launched in the Lake Mendota along Allen go in on the North Lake site by the city. They want to cross from Lakeview, which is further to the south. It has, it has a bigger park. Most of the yeah. boats that are launched along Allen Boulevard don't launch here. They launch further south. At Marshall Park. Marshall Park. Marshall, yeah. yeah. Which is the city of Madison's park. Right. right. And wise. And it just feels like it has to be true. I haven't counted it. Yeah, I know. But I mean, you drive by and my God, and a good summer day yeah. fills the park. Marshall Park is full of park. Yeah. 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 And I just went there it's today and counted. There are 44 parking spaces for trailers. At and, Marshall? At Marshall. And they have five lanes for launching. No. Oh. So and they have two <laughs> boat washing stations and bathrooms and garbage receptacles, which we don't have any yeah, garbage that's really receptacles here. for the invasive species yeah. to have the yeah. And I thought there had been a water spigot a long time ago, but no one else remembers that. So it may just be a faulty memory. Um, but I I don't know if one down here now. I know that we contribute. Um, uh, water at the uh, Marshall Park pump station 15. Madison Met runs that kind of in the northwest corner of Marshall Park where there's that little bike trail mm -hmm. station and restroom and everything. So we contributed toward that uh, water supply because Madison didn't have water supply anywhere near there. Mm -hmm. so. Sean, can you show us the um, the concept that I don't know which one it is. I think it's D or F. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go up to D first. Let me do that. Well, I think the one that came from Parks, I want to say that's F. And even that one is not, yeah, that's not it. Right. So this is D, which was one of the older ones from September of 2022. It's been around a bit. And and I think it was something of a front runner when the park board first talked about these options, A, B, C, D, and then E is existing conditions. So I think this was something of a springboard as well, an idea toward hey, Go back, go back, because I want to just point out something before you advance. So see where the turnaround is? Up here? That is right by the driveway. Yes. Yes. And that is one of the recommendations that we'll see from parks on design F. They, the staff recommended extending the green space out to that first driveway and then having the turnaround be actually even a little further west from where it is right now. So there's no boat, there's no boat launch here. No. In this right. one, you're correct. There would be no trailer boat launching. It would be and I, just small hand carried kayaks and canoes. I asked um, Kylie for terms because uh, we're throwing everybody's throwing around terms, including myself. And so she said a boat launch is a facility for launching or retrieving a boat off of a trailer into the water. A small boat launch is a facility for launching or retrieving a boat off of a trailer into the water. In this case, Geometrically, the maneuverability above the launch is limiting the boat length to 18 to 20 feet, whereas it can be bigger, I guess, under a boat launch. And a small craft launch in our discussions is a paddle, paddle craft launch. Uh, so you're launching craft that can be carried or dollied without a trailer. And I think that's where there's that's been some good. confusion. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we were talking about small craft launch and then the Motorboat folks are thinking, well, my motorboat is small, you know, mm -hmm. like so, and I use a trailer. How am I going to get a trailer in there? Okay. So, so from there, so this is a little bit earlier. And then I think Park Board said, well, let's take some of this information and create a newer uh, exhibit drawing, in including Mendota Drive, <laughs> which was totally wrong in that. Mendota. Oh, interesting. Let's see all of that. Um, yeah, design F seemed to be an attempt to accommodate everybody's desires, and as you can imagine, that means no no, no one way. function will be particularly good, right? <laughs> um, concept well, concept C and D that are called concepts 
it will not have boat launches. Which one is this one? F. Okay. So this is F. This is kind of the newest thing. And it that says concept plan preferred. Would, yep. And that has a boat launch. Well, this, but the that is a small craft launch. That's what I was saying. It's it, it's got the EMS boat slip, but it, the small craft launch was not intended to be motorized or to be something you would back a trailer up on. Oh, I see. Say the definition of again, again. That small, small craft launch. In our discussions, Kylie says she interprets this paddle craft, paddle canoes, craft. kayaks, paddle boards that can be carried or dollied without a trailer. I like that term, paddle craft. Yeah. That's probably a better yeah. term yeah. <laughs> rather than small craft. Yeah. Yeah. And then the first driveway labeled with numbers at eight. H. Yeah. So the grass, the idea is for the grassy area to extend out to there. And the staff also recommended getting rid of the medians um, right. for a couple of reasons. And sidewalks. Although they caution that sidewalks on the south might require removing trees. Further west, anyway. And maybe if we could put a pin in the sidewalks, it's an important okay. consideration in yeah. all of this. But so public one thing I noticed here of what you were just talking about, Lisa, is that while number four is labeled as small craft launch instead of small boat launch, number 10 is called boat craft. Uh, and it's got several areas identified mm -hmm. as yeah. if they're temporary for the preparation of a boat launch. In which uh, case might it just be a, wouldn't make sense. You might call it a small craft launch uh, because you park your car so you don't have to lug your rowboat or your, I'm sorry, your yeah. canoe that far down. So you park your car, offload your craft, but and then not, move the car to a parking space. It's not labeled as parking, and they do have other areas that appear to be Yeah, again, it's just to stop the car, unload your craft. Get it to the water and then move your car to a parking Go spot. Park it somewhere. Yeah. Sure. And so all I noticed was we've got the use of the word boat and the use of the word small craft. That's what I said. Yeah. Just change it to small craft. Right. So something's inconsistent. Yeah. And I don't know which is intended because right. this could be construed as a drawing of a ramp. Could be. It being concrete. But it's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but public works. We're dealing with sidewalks, we're dealing with roads, roads, and we're dealing with the utilities. So I mean and the safety of the road and, and it's yeah. not we're not we're not we're not dealing with boat launch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think There's we are to some parking. degree because no. it's like the I mean like it, of like this like the like what's shown right here. If if it's like meant for boat parking. Than we are right, like it's kind of we have. Well, to I think we need to respond. Usages. I think, um, the, you know, number six up there is basically parking. I mean, theoretically, you could park trailers there, uh, or anything, motors or motors. anything. More yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just not specific. No trailers. What is the my 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 one big question here is is the driveway closest to the lake this one yeah what is that for the boathouses so huh? this is a row of what's called boathouses it's a oh, boat okay. house association yeah so that's not the end of uh middleton beach road no. it is not no. No, right no, no, no. it's the private lake street sorry yep We're in our club. so they have a driveway to middleton beach road but they also have a driveway to lake street okay and that's it's private. Yep. Let me ask a dumb question. There, uh, not that it matters because we aren't involved with boat launches. Aren't those all boats on trailer? You see in the bottom, yeah. They look like <laughs> they're going to be a little heavy. They're so, going to be hard to carry into the uh, a small craft launch. Yeah. So if Middleton Beach Road had punched through. No. In theory, if it if it had, I'm saying, oh. if it had punched through, in theory, yeah. We could have even more green space because we might might not need that driveway. I mean, it's you know not our driveway to change, but 
Yeah, well, this driveway in an absolute sense isn't needed because there is one over on Middleton Beach Road. You don't have to have two. Fire truck access? I think they just need three-sided access. And just having this paved should be sufficient. Even if yeah. In and out will be a challenge, but yeah. No, I was just thinking so, of, you know, oh, this is a really small space. <laughs> yes, right. Well, that's what I was getting at. It's like we kind of need to understand what the use is because yeah. I don't think we should really allow parking. We should only allow like temporary parking to like what Don was saying to like unload your pedal mm -hmm. craft and then you move somewhere else. And ADA parking. Yes, yeah. yes. Make, make space yeah. for that. Whereas like there, we really shouldn't, have I don't know like it doesn't seem like a good idea to have parking there if people are trying to launch their small craft and then turn around turn around and like you said it's such a small space mm -hmm. so I think that's why we almost need to know what the use will be and I I like the idea of not not having the, the large trailers there and having them launch at Marshall Park instead because this just doesn't seem like it's a big enough space. Mm -hmm. or, or a necessary function for this space, given right. that Marshall, if Marshall Park weren't there, this would be, it would be really easy to defend keeping this as a boat launch, but it's there, it's bigger, and it's got much better facilities. Right. Um, so why do we have any launch at all? That's good. I think historically, and I, I have a really old photo that's just a work of art, but this this area, um, a lot of what's the um, uh, harbor condominiums here was a like a motel and a really large marina area. Oh. Um, well, Tom, you might remember that. Uh, I came in afterwards, but from what they say, yes, it, it was a marina area, and actually, there wasn't really any launching at the end of the street until. They decided the marina sold and built the condos, basically, exactly. and closed all that down. Mm -hmm. And then the street became, it was basically a dead-end street, and it was just sand and pebble, kind of shallow, dead-end, run into, into the lake until 2008-ish, 2006 to 2008, when they actually installed the deep water piers. Yeah, so there were really expensive piers, docks out off of the end of Lake Street with that marina. Yeah, where they went the, where way out the of the current lake. where the current docks are now in front of Century. I think yeah. they they yeah. kind of or the harbor. Yeah, they had a big complex of wharfs and stuff. Yeah, this whole area was yeah. Yeah. really full. And so when we went and talked with the DNR about, you know, the von Rutenberg piers uh, that Jack had donated to the city, uh, but we had to get them permitted. And I think one of the administrative judges was asking, what makes you think you can put that out there? And I think we showed him that picture and says, well, it's you know, not as bad as history would indicate. Mm -hmm. well, so oh, go ahead. I'm just curious, Sean, what's our action item here tonight? It really is to provide input to the council and a big part of it gets into the master planning, right? Yeah. So I don't think the boat launch or the docks are off the table. But our real wheelhouse typically has been streets, uh, street design, uh, and utilities. So what I'm hearing from the group is we need a better definition of actual use and parking, which would get into the legend. Well, I think even if, I mean, it sounds like parking, with the exception of ADA parking, is probably not a good idea for this space anyway if anybody's going to be going in there and I mean anyone who comes to visit this new space whatever it is redesigned space will have to turn around at some point and so parking on both sides of the street could be a problem I think it's probably fair to say the median should go I mean this was a recommendation from parks and it seems like a, a good one um so no medians definitely ADA uh, parking. You know, I, I don't know enough about the apartment building to know, <clears throat> do they need street parking for visitors or is that all covered on, on their site? 
Well, what well I think we can't say no parking. It depends on what the use is going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to have a boat launch, you're going to need parking. Small craft launch. Small. Yeah, even, well, small even craft. if it's a small craft. Yeah, I know. You need parking. You're yeah. need parking. Or visitors to this little park-like sort yeah. of yeah. facility probably are going to want to park someplace nearby. So is that on one side? Can we fit it on both sides and still and just restrict it as you get close? You like have the turnaround be um, no parking? I think What's the purpose of restricting? So that people can turn around. And they can't like go down back to the water again, Sean. Right. Oh, okay. they've, they've eliminated parking on the north side of the road there at the bottom to allow you to go around yeah, that last good, yeah. island. Yeah. And make the turnaround. And, uh, you know, one would assume that the civil engineer that laid this out laid it out knowing that there would be road street cars going both ways and there would be room with the parking. Yeah. And if you get rid of the medians, there's... Oh, that's even more room. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. plenty of room. But uh, getting back to the medians, I, I like the park's idea. They want to get rid of them because they don't want to maintain them. But again, this is a green city and a city of trees. Actually, <laughs> actually, the comment about getting rid of them was yes. That was my input too highly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, say, I kind of like the memes because it helps the traffic flow. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you might get people yeah. zigging all the way down there. So I, I do kind of like the medians for the flow. And, so, Sean, and how I think much do you hate medians, the medians? Well, I think they're sort of a two pronged issue. One, the trees we don't allow within 10 feet of mains, but we've already got sewer and water and are about to have a new water alignment here. So we we really don't want trees. Oh. If there are going to be okay. medians, they um, would not be true I, median. I think we'd have to pull these further apart from each other to make these driveways really usable. Um, so, I how much? It just takes more dancing to plow it, but it's not. Um, well, that's the not plowing, a stopper. The plowing is interesting because there's no terrace. Yeah. So you're going to plow it onto the sidewalk, yep. right? Yep. That's right. And then who maintains the sidewalk here? The yeah, abutting yeah. property owners. Abutting property, okay. And they'd pay for its installation as well, or they'd be assessed. Typically, yes, that's policy. Yeah. So getting rid of the parking would allow us to build terraces. Yeah, or carry sort of a terrace section a little bit further up until such point where we just need extra pavement because yeah. of turnaround concerns. So. You know, we we could carry more terrace through here. We'd have to narrow the medians to do it. Also, well, medians are gone again. That opens it up a little bit to put terrace in, at least on one side. Because then this part of the road, uh, literally waving my hands around, would look more like this. Like that. Road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's parking on both sides there. There is, because there's nothing. In the middle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So maybe that's that's the answer. Put medians in for snow storage. Uh, terraces. Terraces. Sorry, that's what I thought. Oh, so ditch the medians and put terraces, terraces in. in. Yeah. Basically, moving yeah, this yeah. grass over. And it, but at the end, for a turnaround, it's still going to have to get rid of the terraces. Yeah. 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 But that it's wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Right. So I think the big first question is, do we want trailered maneuverability? No. Because that's a well, big I mean, I don't think I mean, so. uh, some, uh, the Parks Department needs to decide what they're going to do with the, they're, with the they were they, gold they, they, they recommended this and council said we need more time to think about this. Okay. Pre precisely because trying to accommodate all the uses is going to mean we're not really accommodating any of them very well. Right. One thing we haven't talked about is stormwater and the the fact that more grassy space and not having you know the the yeah. trailer ramp go right into the water should improve water quality. Um, I'm a little surprised we didn't refer this to storm, or water resources management commission. So is the stormwater? Is there a stormwater pipe in that street? There's one just to the north, so it's up 
here someplace, I'll say, right? Where does it go? Into the into the lake? It's directly? It goes into the lake, yes, directly. It's coming from basically Century Harbor, um, that little private drive there. So there's no uh, holding pond or anything to... No, so the apartment redevelopment just built um, a treatment, stormwater treatment on site as is required by ordinance, but the rest of this stuff pre-existed that ordinance. Oh. Back in the day when the idea was stormwater was get it off my site, right. mm -hmm. the lake was right here. Right. Um, so, so that was the answer. So any sort of water, stormwater runoff filtration would be literally whatever runs off the street and onto that grass. And then it's gonna go into the lake regardless. We right. can't infiltrate it because it would go to the lake so we can't put a stormwater drainage going the other direction into a pond. It would just go into the lake. Mm -hmm. If we acquired land and built a pond at a higher elevation, we could pump water from here into the, the drain into the lake. It might not be the best use of our dollars then, from the stormwater yeah. management. At least built a grid out. So mm -hmm. they can make yeah. machines to get rid of the grit on the end of a stormwater. Pricey, but they do make that. This pipe in the water? Well, if we're going to take our stormwater and have it flow, have it flow through some type of at least screen of some sort to get rid of the grit. Inlets, yeah, can capture some of that. Inlets or outlets too something. can do it too. They're more mechanical. But What's the maintenance on that? Oh yeah, there's maintenance. And no matter what you put in, there's maintenance. You put a pond in, there's maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I mean, if it's like a filter or a screen, is it back flush automatically or what? No, it's a mechanical screen that collects it and dumps it into a dumpster. It gets messy. In the big picture, a lot of our storm sewers go right into the lake. Oh, yeah, yeah. So no point in making this one special. Uh, well, I think if we, we can get some management right by yeah. running it over grass yeah. uh, instead yeah. of straight into the lake, but that only gets pretty, rid of pretty big things like yeah. sand or something. Right? Mm -hmm. I remember right too. It's pretty, <laughs> Not kind of Sorry. pretty flat here. The road is pretty flat till it drops off near the east end. Then yeah. it really goes down. And Sean, right now that four is designed so you could back a trailer. Well, no, it small to back. It is, but there's some disagreement okay. here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That. The term so small saying... craft, as you yeah. said, from mm -hmm. says no, it's just hand carry yeah. boats. I'm just suggesting so that can... some part. This is squared off because someone's trying to back there. This is not. Yeah, right. But it looks like they're trying to back up like their SUV so that they can dock take it. their paddle craft off and dock it, you know, tie it to the. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be. I'd be fine if that's what the city wants to do. We yeah. should be really clear about what. Right. I agree, like so make it so that someone. Because there are groups but... that haul kayak around on trailers. Yeah, yeah, sure. They're utility trailers, so it's not like it's a big boat truck. Did you, Don, want to recognize Tom? Uh, he keeps raising his hand. I think oh, yes, oh, Tom. I think yes. he's got some valuable <laughs> here. I'm sure he does. I just thought I would uh, buy some information. I, I'm the neighbor that lives to the <laughs> south, uh, right? My lot is right off, and, and that one. Actually, I have both of those lots. I rent mm -hmm. to the neighbors right there. Um, just an FYI, I, it, this is very confusing. The terminology has been very confusing. And being in the Parks Committee and hearing their recommendation and part of all the discussions, most of our impressions or, or understanding was that this option was still maintaining one ramp, ramp for motorized boat launching. And they talked about boats up to 22 feet long, which is still a good size. That's a good size. Yeah. Good size trailer yeah. Boat. So in that context, yes, I suggest being prudent in assuming what this is because I've been hearing it the other way. So this this concept is concerned a lot of us. So we've, you know, I, I uh, passed on a kind of simplified concept in my concept uh, comments, but I'd like to just, you know, one example 
of how the trailers work down here and the constricted uh, space, even without sidewalks and everything in there. If you think about with the, the boat landing the way it is, if you have one trailer coming down to use a landing and someone is coming in off the lake and they go to get their boat trailer, and then you have another boat trailer come down and you have turnaround traffic coming, all of a sudden you have someone coming down that can't get past to go get their boat out and everybody's locked up. And so all it takes is, it, it doesn't take much and the end is locked up and the street function, it, it becomes a mess. Just living beside it and having to deal with it and listen to the noise and the congestion and everything. And it all gets backed up the street. So it's not a very simple concept of one trailer comes down, unloads, goes away, type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then there's even no turnaround on the other end of the street for boat trailers. So people are trying to back their trailers down the street to the ramps through traffic and pedestrians. So there, there's a lot to kind of think about in how this functions on the whole street mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. it doesn't happen at the end of the street. So when how much boat trailer. traffic have you seen with boats and trailers? I mean, do you get four, five, six, ten? Um, on during the summer on heavy weekends and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I've counted the street full and the wellness parking lot full by eight o'clock with upwards of 20 trailers, 25 wow. trailers. And then they're turning over every couple hours and it can be full for the whole weekend or in the evenings. People come down, tend to come down all at one time after work. They want to get out fast for a couple hours. So you kind of have a, a surge. Mm -hmm. And then kind of some more people at the end of the night that want to go out while other people are coming in. It, it it's one of those things that's very hard to think about until you actually see it for a while. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it's, it's basically all this stuff, as you were saying, happens in Marshall Park in a very dedicated and structured facility, but it really happens on the whole street. And so are they using this because Marshall Park is was too busy? I mean, why would I, they why would they go here rather than it's busier I, and they have to pay? I ask that much. question I'll often have to too. Pay. And I'll go down to, especially in the evenings when I'll go home, and I'll go down to Marshall Park and it's wide open. Oh, hmm. or early in the morning, too, sometimes. Right. Yeah, interesting. Um, so I can't uh, tell you exactly other than. I think is, it, is this currently free? Mm -hmm. uh, That's your, there's your answer. And Marshall Park is uh, paid for, right? I mean, they yeah. got to pay to. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason. And, and I think. You know, they, they've had discussion of putting fees and throwing in with the with the county launch fee and everything right, that, right. that would encourage people. I'm not sure what that would do. My fear is like it will just open up another place. People will think, oh, I'll just go over here. And then they think that they can go down there with mm -hmm. their big boats. And it's really hard. It's really difficult in this confined space. And I don't see how limiting the one ramp yeah, is going to limit the size of the boats coming down. We have very large boats coming down right now, boat trailer boats that have to back in to the private drives to turn around. Mm. And then like when you have the safety of the fire department down there for training or rescue, and they're parking in this up the street down there and having to have their access, and then you have boat trailers trying to go in and out. Mm. It's kind of, this is not making sense. And it's a very much of a burden. So yeah. So I, I think just just opinion is like in front of you is what works for street function. Well, that, that's good to know, especially with again, like with the apartment buildings, there's gonna be more car traffic, car traffic, foot traffic, and if there's already like yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Is, and now I'll go back to Carl's question. Do we have to have a boat launch there? At all. Well, we did get a grant or two grants for funding for the construction, so we may have to pay back okay. some of that. Well, uh, I think we're three quarters of the way through the peri yeah. period, so it would probably okay. be prorated. And you know, because well, and because conditions have changed, you know, climate change has gotten worse, 
runoff, flooding, you know, water problems have gotten worse. So there may be a way um, to get the county to not charge us the full fee um, because we would be improving the water quality or trying to improve the water quality. Yeah, I think it's the state though. I think it might be a DNR question. Yeah, it's but, a DNR. But that was a DNR. Grant. The packet. What's that, Charles? Uh, I remember seeing DNR in the agenda packet and the prorated yeah. amount would be right around 15,000. Yeah. Okay. So that would just be built into the cost of the. So what do we want to say? What do we want to say as a committee about this? We think, you know, I mean, it, it's totally dependent on what the parks department decides to do with the boat launch, but we could say, we don't think that the, the current street design or the, the street design is appropriate for uh, boats with trailers. Yeah. 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 How about that? Yeah. Or the reconstruction design. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, I think the big thing for me is right. If we're talking about adding sidewalks on both sides mm -hmm. and preserving terraces in some way. It's going to be very difficult to turn a trailer around. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. If not impossible. Right. 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 And with our complete streets policy, we should be putting sidewalks in. And Especially if we're building some reason for pedestrians right. Right. to go. Yeah, like there. a park. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like a park. Right. It's in the Lakeview. Um, I don't think we should necessarily say anything about okay. parking. We could do that after somebody makes a decision on the concept. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think that parking should be available. I think um, that to, to, and Sean brought up, get rid of the terrace, get rid of the median, add terraces to narrow the, the road right away, I guess yeah. you could say, and have sidewalk or terrace, sidewalk, and you'd still be able to have parking. And the terraces would also- They do it down at the, at, uh, the West End. Yeah. yeah. Similar to what the- Extension is it'd yeah. be more like just a normal road. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, and that would absorb some stormwater, right? If you have the terrace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we don't plant it with Kentucky bluegrass, plant it with something that's yeah. thirsty. Um, Sean, if we add, add the terraces, is that I'm still trying to figure out where the trees would have to come down on the south. Yes. Right. Because right. I'd love to preserve the trees. We had put Although, a pin wouldn't in it, but we, it's time to take the pin out. We could narrow the road though, right? Yeah. Um, so along Harbor Athletic parking lot in this terrace area are a bunch of trees. I think they're all maple trees. Not certain of that. And they're in a really unfortunate location for sidewalk. So that doesn't we couldn't we can't build a sidewalk sort of relatively tight to the curb, just not have much of right. a terrace area. But again, you have it close to the curb, you're eliminating your snow storage. That's right. So whoever shovels that sidewalk is shoveling basically the street. Yeah, and they won't be happy. They what won't about, be happy paying for the sidewalks. If we, they might be happy because they still get the trees then next to their parking lot. What mm -hmm. about putting this, getting an easement and putting the sidewalk south of that tree line? Yeah. And giving them some of the parking lot space that they're currently using, but that the city owns. Would those trees fit in a terrace? In a normal terrace? Yes. In a terrace in a good spot? Yes. Yeah. I mean, because we're just talking about spot. building a terrace. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, did you mean media? Huh? No, ter oh, terrace. Ter okay. So these are terrace trees. It's just that they're in a location where we would want to build a sidewalk. So I think um, we could build a sidewalk and keep these trees, build a sidewalk close to the curb and not have much. Or build terrace. it on the other side of the trees. Yeah, and so Lisa was just saying, well, if we yeah. build a sidewalk over here in an easement on private property, we'd have to yeah. wipe out a bunch of parking. Where is the, so there's not but enough right of way for that. We don't have right of way that. No, we would have to acquire an easement in which okay. to build the sidewalk. Okay. Uh, and and redo this parking lot to do it. So they'd lose these parking spots, but you know, they're making use of all these parking spots right now. And that, on and a that's city the city-owned parking spot? It's city-owned. 
correct. Right, but they're using them. Yeah. And they're not paying us. Not that I know. Heck, they're all the time. At least then. Carrie's a citizen. Yeah. And you said, well, yes. we could put meters on. <laughs> and then they wouldn't use them. <laughs> yeah. So it gets a little bit more complicated. And, it, you know, a different option would be if we had sidewalk on one, one side, side of the street side. to right. Middleton Beach Road be and good. at this crosswalk, start two sides of the street. The only thing we'd sort of be losing is, um, you know, frontage along Harbor Athletic wouldn't have sidewalk for now. So it would be a little more convoluted for Harbor Athletic folks. They'd have to cross the street to walk down to the lake. They don't the cross south. the street and walk down to the lake. We have two customers of Harbor. Well, if we had a sidewalk, down if to we the had lake? sidewalk, I would I run on oh. Middleton Beach Road a lot. So, oh, okay. But there's already a little path to Never get there. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't go down to the lake. Yeah, and, and so it's not completely disconnected, but it's a little bit more circuitous to say, well, you got to cross the street to walk down yeah. to the lake or... You know, I would think that that'd be a viable solution to Beach Road. You I think it would too. Inside. Yeah, because if those, especially, I mean, if they're healthy trees, yeah, they look well, pretty good. Yeah, we don't want to be them cutting them yeah. down just. To, but there's you know, no problem putting in curb and gutter. There is curb and gutter. Oh, there is curb and gutter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how do we phrase that? So the currently envisioned street design isn't appropriate for boats with trailers. Parking should be available, including ADA, but not not like um, not trailer parking. Not trailer parking. And because there's no trailer boat launch, I don't know if yeah. there's no yeah. reason yeah. for trailer yeah. parking. Right. Yeah. So open. Yeah, just parking. I guess if there's no boat launch, there'll be no boat launch trailer. Yeah. But like there won't be more trailer. Spaces. That's its own question. Do we want to try to mark parking spots? Only the ADA parking spots, or if we decide there's a need for a um, a hosing down station. But I think with mm -hmm. paddle craft, that's something. I mean, it's still necessary, but something that people are. If we don't wash it, though, will people try to park their trailer there? Yeah, that would be my concern too. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. well with part of the question is why would they have brought a trailer? Yeah. Here? Unless they got a utility trailer with kayaks on it. Yeah. And they just use two parking spots. Yeah. Right. Or three. And if it's undesignated, I guess they're not. They're yeah. just parking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we'll maybe say no marked parking other than ADA. Mm -hmm. No, I think you do mark parking because that sort of restricts it more. But if they've got a trailer, they just use two parking spots. Well, that's the thing. So what have we restricted? Uh, the Nothing. only place I've looked at striping parking, yeah. we want to lay out like 21 or 22 feet. It gets a yeah. little bit more inefficient. It does bring order to chaos, but I don't know if we have chaos. Okay. All right. Well, at least a line if of If it gets chaotic, we can always mark it. Can yeah. be done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the sidewalk. So what did we decide? Preserve the trees? Yeah. And then sidewalks. So I think like that would the apartment building would then at least have the sidewalk yeah. going because I, I I don't think there's that many harbor people walking down to the lake. I don't know. Well, it's it not hard. Goes in, not they've hard expressed to. interest in using like if there's going to be an open grassy space, harbor might be interested in. Oh, doing yeah. some classes. Yeah, so I don't think it's a hardship to cross the street so I don't much think so. to the lake. No, That's I mean you're getting more exercise. Thirty feet. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, do we want to say no sidewalk along the harbor frontage, mm -hmm. or do you want sidewalk from Allen now to you know, sort of this? Yes, and just yeah. preserve the trees. Yes, yes. So, yeah. How come we're stopping the road construction? You know, not going all the way to Allen. The road yeah. construction will go to Allen. Oh, okay. It yeah. just doesn't show that way. On exactly. There. It's the park department drawing, the, right? The planning initiative really was, boy, what should we do down here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and then the rest we figured will fall into place. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, yeah, sidewalk to the harbor entrance. But just not this one lot. Not that one to. lot. Right. Yeah.
Norman, um, you send this back with comments, or are you going to mark up a drawing? Uh, Might be easier or descriptive than writing. Which one of those drawings are you going to mark up? Oh. It does. <laughs> that might be the hard part. And I'm not trying to get into design. I'm trying to figure out what you Yeah, I think it's all better just to get this. Comments. All right. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> so if I could tell a designer, don't worry about boat trailers, I've just said a lot to yeah. the designer. Yeah. 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 Okay. But they can worry about details. Yep. So what I have so far is that we envision the redesign of the street would uh, include small craft only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paddle craft. Paddle. Use. Yeah, add the word paddle just to make it clear. Yeah, I think you do want to be very clear on, on that. Yeah, because that'd be good. <laughs> so we'll call it say paddle craft. Paddle craft. Yeah, paddle craft only. Uh, no trailer boat launch, or just no boat launch. Well, no, 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 no trailer ramp. I would suggest. I'm sorry. No ramp. No trailer ramp. Well, but we also don't want people thinking they can still back their trailers onto. <laughs> Onto our little dock. Oh, we already said no trailer traffic. Okay. So that pretty much outlines no, no trailer. trailer traffic. And I'm sure there'll be signage put up. Mm -hmm. well, I don't yeah. know if you just say that you can't bring a trailer in. You know, because yeah. like you say, if someone brings in a canoe, mm -hmm. yeah, loaded well, trailer yeah. or a moving van. So somehow it has to be signage that there is right. no trailer launch. Or no boat launch. I think on Baskerville Avenue, we actually put up a sign that said no boat launch because people constantly look at a map and say oh Baskerville Avenue on the north side of the lake yeah which has effectively a cliff that goes down to the lake <laughs> um, but on a map it looks like oh the road yeah. goes right to the lake yeah. which it does right. but those last 15 feet will kill you and this is like Lake Street even so people yeah think, like <laughs> right yeah. so if there's no boat launch it'd be nicer to tell them up at Allen yeah. Boulevard right. don't bother yeah. turning right yes and, and Sean, since we're going to want speed to be very slow on this street, mm -hmm. what do you think about this? And I know this is like a future phase, but what do you think about putting in raised crosswalks both at Harbor and where the park, you know, where the um, street Middleton Beach Road access comes up? Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. So like natural speed bumps um, that keep the yeah, bike and ped way. traffic. Wow. Well, because we don't want the flares to go into a driveway, but if we move it over, maybe I'd want to make sure drainage still works. Yeah. What we don't want to do is say, oh, the drainage is coming down the street and then has yeah. to jump. Um, but other than well, that, if they drop the ramp at the curb, you know, the well, it just wouldn't have a ramp. The sidewalk would just go across the street. Yeah. It would not dip down oh, and rise okay. back up. Right. It would yeah, be a raised right. crosswalk. Effect. Okay. So we can look into that in design, yeah. but I mean, for right. concept for reasons, I'm not sure. We can say look into public that. Raised ground. So Tom, they've got parking on both sides of the road going all the way down to the lake. Have you ever seen that much parking there? Uh, yes, it's all been parked up. But with boats with trailers. and trailers. Yeah. And trailers. Yeah. So if the, and there was no trailer traffic, it would be a lot less? It, it would take a lot of load oh. off of that street, a okay. lot of noise, a lot of impact off, yeah, a lot of congestion. Um, yes. Okay. It, it would. And if um, after you have your discussion, if I can get some feedback, I did uh, kind of sketch up a concept I think you're talking about very closely. I would I would love to get some feedback on it. It's it was an email they sent. So one of them. You got several. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> so let me just back up a step. Um paddlecraft only, no ramp for trailer boat launch, no medians in favor of terraces, ADA parking, no other marked stalls, on street stalls. Um, sidewalks, except at the one lots frontage of Harbor Athletic Club to preserve existing terrace trees. 
uh, a no bolt launch sign and looking into raised crosswalk. I'm for speed control. Stop here. Yeah. And this is in addition to, or well, not in addition to, but this is following the city staff recommendations about including the green space, you know, extend, extending that. We don't need to comment on that because that's, that, that's carrying forward. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should include that anyway, since we're getting into the design. That's true, because we did, yeah. Okay. That we're in favor of the- um, Green space. Extended green, green space. space. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maximized green space. Yeah. <laughs> and no swimming. As a council cell. At the council meeting, so many people commented, like, I don't think there should be any swimming over there. And we're all looking at the thing and it says like there's I mean the design doesn't show a beach. There's no yeah, beach. but with when you're in a kayak, they always tip over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no intentional <laughs> swimming. <laughs> At least when I tried to do yeah. one. <laughs> and there was a beach contemplated as part of the design and it was unanimously agreed that no beach. there should be no swimming. Yeah. I'm not sure we'd get that terminology. I think the designer was trying to say natural shoreline. Yeah. You know, really, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah <laughs> that's how he said it. So. Okay. Anything else? Because I'd be happy to move on to Tom's concept just to see what it looks like. Did we need to put this as a motion or is it just? Uh, I think we should oh, okay. have the committee move input to the Common Council. And uh, yeah, I was just sort of skipping ahead mm -hmm. to the bullet points there. Do, uh, do we need a full motion outlining all those points or can we just say a full uh, motion to accept or to agree to what was written by Sean? Unless I'm missing something or something should be rephrased, yeah. would you so. prefer if I sort of try to reread it? Try and reread it, and then okay. somebody can move to those so statements. We'd envision a redesign of this to, to allow a paddle craft only, no ramp for trailer boat launch, no medians in favor of terraces, uh, on street 88 parking. Uh, no other marked on street parking stalls, sidewalks, except at the Harbor Athletic Club lot to preserve existing trees. No boat launch sign uh, near Allen Boulevard. Look into raised crosswalks for speed control and in favor of maximized green space at the lakeshore. Yeah, we need a motion. Probably enough for a designer to use. Yeah. I can make that motion. Okay. I'll second it. And Sean, may I ask if you could get that to the plan commission members for our meeting tomorrow? Yeah, I know Abby's pretty eager. <laughs> I mean, I think that's going to be one of the first questions. Yeah. Public works, I have to say. Right. Okay. Do we have to vote? So we have a motion and it has been seconded. Okay. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, all in favor? Motion carries. Now, what's the process to make sure we do get Tom's input from his concept since he's here? Yeah, I didn't have it in the agenda, so I don't have a handy copy of it. Fortunately, oh, maybe I can. Maybe it's I got to be in your email. Your email, yeah. I made yeah. sure. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how to get my email on this committee. Well, it, Tom, I'm. I mean, I'm looking at it on my computer, and it, it looks very similar to what we just sketched out. In fact, the street turnaround needs to shift a little more to the west. Possibly, yeah. To allow yeah. green space to come up to just where that um, driveway is. So I think well, one of the concepts that I was trying to capture there in that diagram, when you have a chance to look at it, is that maintaining street turnaround where traffic can flow continuously down to that last driveway 
but then like a sliver beyond that, that would be striped or something that people could actually pull off of in their vehicles, like parallel, just pull off and with their kayak canoes and kayaks. And so it would be marked outside of the turnaround. So it would be totally separate and safer for people to unload. And that would be right up against the green space, basically. So they could unload onto the green space. And then. Oh, offloading. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Off, offload from a car or something. And because I've seen so much of people just parking on the street and they're getting out of their vehicles right into traffic and so forth. So are, uh, are you talking, Tom, about sort of a loading zone here beyond the turnaround area? I like it. Actually, he's got it. It pulled up like that. Your foot there, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sean, you can that could see have been that. a bloody nose. Sorry. Thank you. So basically, oh, the, the bottom of the cul de sac, kind of like that B, yeah. with no parallel parking or, or mm -hmm. perpendicular parking, but then a sliver or some form that people can just pull off right here next to the green space. So trying to maximize, I think that's perfect language, maximize the green space, try to find a balance of how people, how yeah, to I get think. people best down there so that would be angled parking sort of like it, it would end be, of a it, it would be kind of like this sliver but you know like if this is green you're doing half moon or something and yeah. where people can pull off into and and around and you can get two or three cars that way or multiple vehicles mm -hmm. that that are out of traffic trying to trying to maintain the turnaround separate from where vehicles are mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. I just worry about because when I say maximize the green space, I want to. I mean, that's not green space right there. Right, right. <laughs> so, a tiny sliver of green space. So, sort of talking about the cul-de-sac and then part of what could be green space getting pavement instead. Right. I wouldn't want to see that. I'd rather have people offloading on the north side of that. You know, like that's sure right down next to the ADA. Yeah. And then I had the ADA here. Mm -hmm. So right now the cul-de-sac. From from here on down is marked yellow, so no parking mm -hmm. currently. So so basically, where where these marks are, or the, those two hats, is where the yellow starts on the curve. I think we're a little early for that. That like feels like a design out. thing, but uh, sure. John, do you want to recognize George? Yes, yes. Um, in the interest of the open meetings law, could that? Um, Counts have been made publicly available. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it will. I don't know the best way to make it publicly available. So far, Tom sent it to committee members. Yeah. I Public work, this, plan but... commission, sure. sustainability. It's not pretty because I'm not. Yeah. Artist, and it's but... it's also just drawn over not this concept, but what's really there, the mm -hmm. existing. Right. Map is well, since it's being discussed now, you know, yep. so it's wondering. Sure. Yeah, so I'd be happy to send it to you. I don't know how best to send it to link the it, public. Can you link it from the minutes, the, the notes, maybe? Um, I don't know that we've ever linked a document to minutes. But can you attach it? Is it a document? Um, well, maybe. usually the minutes will still have people, the yes. minutes online will still have links to the supporting items, the supporting documents. So maybe just upload this as another supporting document. As a comment. Yeah. Do the minutes okay. links to support? I know agendas some, do. Some of them do. Minutes, yes. I think, are just Word documents that get translated in OnBase to something. I don't know what PDF, I suppose. But we can't provide it as a PDF. It won't work. Uh, point, of, point of the inquiry, do we allow people to submit uh, written have we historically allowed people to submit written uh comments to the body in lieu of spoken comments people can contact committee members uh, it, on their, of their own volition which is how i treated this as i was asked to forward it on his behalf but your information should all be available to the public on the website, and they should be able to get information to you. Right. The, the reason I'm asking is because we're now discussing um, a drawing. And so if we're 
um, if this is something we've, we've historically done, uh, you know, gotten drawings, discussed them, then perhaps we should have been appending those drawings all along to the minutes. Uh, we, that's, we, if, if, we, if well, this is something that we've done in the past. Sure. Yeah, Charles, we were sent the drawings prior to the meeting. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. I have it up in my email, too. So the uh, committee as a whole yeah. had the comments, and that's why I think I'm guessing that's why we can talk about them. You can. It's on the topic. Yeah. You can talk about it. It's yeah. difficult to talk about it because we can't look at it. Um, well, yeah, in theory, we all looked at it before the meeting, but it's, still. Yeah. It's rare that we get information post-agenda pre-meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has happened in the past. But I, I think that's a fair point that George raises too, as well. If someone's interested in seeing it, how do they get it now? Yeah. So there was no way to put it in the agenda. So they have to contact us. It is fair us. to get a hold of you. Yeah, because they just contact us and say, hey, could you forward me what you were talking about? I don't know. Well, if they're interested, sure. Or yeah. me, it's yeah. public information. Yeah. It's just yeah. the hard part. How do we make it? easy to right. be public information, you know? Right. Um, and and meeting notes that for information related to Tom's sketch, please contact Sean. Oh, sure, and, and there won't be a reference in the minutes because it's not included in the motion, just elements of the road design are in the motion. Okay, that's in the motion, but is there in the minutes a discussion of Tom's? No, at this point, no. I, I just try to write down motions, like okay. what the committee decided, or if somebody said something, fine. Well, and I think the fact that the that any discussion of Tom's sketch came after we finalized our actions, that makes it a little... Yeah, I'm a little less concerned. Than yeah, and there was absolutely big discussion of Tom's concept, and you're yeah. like, we love it. Let's vote for that. Sure. Yeah, and the committee could take another action if there were another motion to say this committee wholeheartedly endorses Tom's concept. Okay, well now that's a different thing. You could do that. Um, well, I guess I mean we could make a motion to put Tom's sketch in the supporting documents for the meeting under this agenda. So if oh, if there is there such a thing, have you found out the only thing is that there is such a thing for yeah. the agenda? Oh, for the agenda. Yeah. The oh, minutes, the minutes the agenda. meetings have other. But issues. I don't think we took any action on it, and so yeah. I think we're even saying like this is too early in the concept. So maybe Tom bring that sketch back at a later time. I don't know. Like I don't know if it's. I don't. I don't know that it helps the design, but we don't have a preliminary design yet. Right. Right. Well, we have a motion. It's a little drawings. early. I oh. think we need a concept of what what's settled here in terms of how this is going to function. Yeah. I'll withdraw the motion if it makes it easier for everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I think it is something we can discuss when the preliminary line comes through. I think there's going to be plenty of renewed discussion at Preliminary yeah. design, we just have to get there. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out the concept. And there's nothing that we did today, Tom, that wouldn't preclude including what you came up with. Yeah. It, right. And actually, I just was found it interesting to get your feedback, if any. Sure. So I didn't want you to take action on it at this time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So We've got our action item taken care of on this item. What else is there to do? I think it's unless good. there's another action I don't on this think. item. Okay. We'll go back to the agenda. That uh, was it. Which is adjourned. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I move we adjourn. Carl? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Charles going to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. night, Charles. <laughs> He'll be on Zoom next time, right? Uh, I will be at the mercy of a combination of Iceland air and uh, jet lag. Uh, okay. My flight back is the 25th. <laughs> All right. Well, safe travels. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night.
can stop the recording if you.